So, last time we worked on the Z125, I put a Yoshimura RS2 exhaust pipe on it, and we gained about half a horsepower. Well, companies keep making parts for the Z125, and they keep sending them to us. So, this time, we've got a performance camshaft from Daniel Crower Racing. This has got to be one of the tiniest, cutest little camshafts I have ever seen. So, we're going to install this in the Kawasaki, throw it in the dyno, and see if it makes any power. Okay, DCR cam in. Start to finish, took about an hour. Uh, the hardest part was getting the cam sprocket aligned because the engine didn't want to stay at top dead center. So basically what I did was trial and error, kept moving it a tooth at a time, turning the engine back over to TDC, making sure that those alignment marks matched up on the sprocket and on the head. Definitely something you can do at home. It's gonna be a lot easier if you get the bike up on a table. So I don't know, maybe do it on your kitchen table in your, uh, in your house. But now, the big test. Let's see if it starts. Okay, next up, gonna put this thing on the dyno, see what kind of horsepower it makes. All right, ran the Z125 on the dyno and we did pick up some peak horsepower. We went from 9.14 horsepower with just the Yoshimura pipe to 9.76 horsepower with the DCR cam. However, all of our gains were from 7,500 RPM up. From 7,500 RPM down, we're actually losing horsepower and torque compared to stock. Um, that's pretty common with a high lift camshaft, and I should point out that we're still running the stock airbox and air filter, and we have not added a fuel controller. So I think once we do that, which we're gonna do next, uh, we will see more peak horsepower, and hopefully we're gonna prop up that mid-range performance as well. Seeing as it does make more horsepower towards Redline, I thought maybe it'll go faster. So I went out and did a top speed run, and I went and indicated 66 miles an hour. That is up three miles per hour from my personal best of 63 on this bike when it was stock. So you got more peak horsepower, you got more top speed, although it still takes a long time to get there, um, and you've got one very easy to install camshaft. So that is the DCR cam on Kawasaki's new Z125 Pro.